the aimbot is made using Overwatch Workshop, where you could create your own custom mods and game modes for the public to play. So the way that this aimbot works is that it aims to the person closest to the reticle you're currently aiming at. And an example of the aimbot at work is over here above, as it perfectly aimed to the person's head and instantly killed him. So now let's hop over to the code and see how this was actually made and how you could do the same too. So now we have to actually code the part. So let's start up going to play, game browser, create, and you're gonna go straight to workshop, but I've already saved it as a preset. So, and okay, yeah, so now, there are two rules for this aimbot code. The start aimbot rule and the stop aimbot rule. So, and it does exactly that. This rule actually starts the aimbot, whilst this rule stops the aimbot when you release the button. So, the, this event is, this is an event for each player. So it's, and it happens forever. So it's ongoing each player and all the teams, all the players. Now for the conditions part, it's if the button is held and it's if you hold the button and I just said it as interact, but you could set it as anything. I said it as interact since there are not many things done, like things in the game used by interact. So I said it as interact. And if this condition is true, so if you're in fact holding the button, then we should do this action. This action, it looks complex, but it's actually not that complex. All it is, is it starts facing, and you as an event player have to start facing the enemy. So that's why you write, it's a reference to yourself. And then the direction is, direction towards, and then start position is obviously yourself. And the end position is the player clo cl closest to your reticle because you need to aim to the player closest to your reticle. So the player, so you need to reference yourself. And then over here, you don't want the aimbot to be aiming at your own teammates. That's what you do, the opposite team of the team of you. So it's the opposite team of your team. Now, for how fast it turns to the opponent, you want it to be as fast as possible, which it says 10,000, the max. And it's going to be relative to the world, and the reevaluation is going to be direction and turn rate. So that's all for the start inbot, and now for the stop inbot part. So it is again ongoing for each player and all teams, all players. So this, all this part does is, so once you start the aimbot from here, it keeps on going, which you don't exactly want, since you need to stop it sometimes. So this is the stop aimbot part. So if the button is not held, which is, is if the button is held interact, is equals equals false, that means it's not held, then you have to do this action, which is stop facing to whatever it's coded to. So then the player could reach control of it again. So that's all for the coding part of this, and I'm just gonna share the code in case if you ever want to like you know copy it. So it's H Y five E N. And yeah, that's basically all you need to create the aimbot. Thanks for watching. Um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and watch out for the new videos.